Hey guys, welcome to a quick update on some of the changes that have been made over the last couple of weeks. There have been a few slight alterations to the construction controls, so let's take a look. I'm just going to build a, a quick uh, pendulum thing here, so... Okay, so um, previously when attaching axles and blocks, um, you'd have the option to choose whether they'd be attached with a hinge or a rigid attachment. That option has now gone away, and instead, when you attach them, it just attaches with the default attachment type, which in this case is a hinge. The difference is now, once those parts are attached, you can hover over that attachment, and then by pressing E, you can toggle between the available attachment types. Um, and if I attach our pendulum, again, it's attached with the default um, type, which is a hinge, um, and these two blocks uh, adjacent, so I'm going to have to delete the rigid attachment. And there we go, we can see, if I unfreeze it, they now rotate. And again, I can hover over the attachment, and toggle it to a rigid one, and uh, we can see they're now locked together. And so on. And this means you can go and um, change your attachment types um, after the parts have been attached. Um, previously, the only way you could do it would be to detach the part and then reattach it with a with a different um, attachment type which was kind of a pain so this is I think this is much more convenient and make should make things a bit easier there um, there are a couple of uh, wholesale operations that can be applied to constructions um, and previously they were on a couple of different key presses and but the two operations are cloning the construction and deleting it and, and in particular I think people people found that uh, deleting the entire construction was a little bit too easy to do by mistake. Um, so those operations have now been moved onto a separate menu. And the way you get to that is you just hold, hover over the construction, hold down Shift, hold down Q, and it brings up this little menu here. And you can uh, clone the construction. Oh, come here, there we go. Um, and you can, again, hover over the construction, uh, Shift and Q, and can delete the entire construction. Um, and it just makes it a bit more, uh, a bit less likely that you do those things by mistake, which is kind of a good thing. Um, yeah, so that kind of wraps it up for the, the changes to the uh, construction controls. Um, there have been a few other changes of late. Uh, for example, um, in the inventory, um, there's now a kind of grid that's displayed uh, underneath the parts, so it gives you a sense of scale because it was kind of hard to tell before what the relative sizes of them were. So hopefully that kind of helps with that. Um, there have been a whole bunch of rendering changes and fixes um, uh, just basically to kind of deal with some issues with the far clip plane and, and the horizon line. Um, and also uh, an upgrade to the time of day so the sky looks a bit nicer. Um, uh, what else we got? So yeah, um, at the edge of the world, um, both um, once you get to, I think it's five or six hundred meters up in the air, and also um, two kilometers in either direction from the center of the world, um, that's where the boundary is. And before, um, if you hit that boundary, it would be like an invisible wall. Now there's kind of a force zone that slows you down as you approach those boundaries. So it just means that if you have flying vehicles and things, they don't just suddenly hit an invisible wall and the physics goes crazy. They kind of just slow down as they approach those, which makes things a bit a bit more robust um, and yeah a bunch of other minor things code cleanup bug fixes that kind of thing um, and yeah that, that kind of wraps it up so uh, thanks for watching